this is what you're supposed to do, you help others. And ha having my mother always help others, it wasn't anything that I felt for, you know, like it didn't feel unnatural. It was like, this is cool, like it's giving me an outlet to really impact other people's lives. And then when you come home, even though some of the things you come home to aren't the best, you feel grateful because you just left somewhere that someone had a worse situation than yourself. So it kind of, it made you appreciate too what you had, even at a younger age than probably most people. It's important that people understand that I've been there. It's not just, oh, we've heard about it, but like we had to many times go to the, where you put the, it used to be a nickel, you put the nickel in and fill up the gallon water jug and that's how we took our baths because she had to decide was electricity more important than water and at the time it was so that's how we took our baths and made our food with the bottled water. Junior high was probably the first time I realized ooh, <laughs> there's a life outside of what this looks like and I liked what that looked like and my mother always said you're going to college and I knew I was going to get to college just didn't know how and I tell that story all the time because it's it's true like if you're determined there's gonna be a way you just you make it happen and I said you know I'll sit outside the door if that's how I have to learn but that's I'm gonna learn I'm going to college like one way or the other and I don't think I know I went through all these experiences because now I know what a headache it was to transfer from bus to bus and sitting out in the hot sun so I can relate like when people come in like for conferences and like I'm sorry I'm late I missed you know this transfer that I'm like, I understand. I, I've done it, you know. I, I think that's why, once again, I know that's why I've been put in this position because I think that's why I went through everything I went through. I always remember people in the classroom, on the field, always believing me, like, man, she's really going to make something of herself. Like, they always, and like I said, I don't, I'm sure there were people, but I don't ever remember it. And I, it feels like the kids today, they have that hope, like you, they're eager to learn. And a lot of them, especially, and I, I can completely relate, they lack trust. So if they can't trust you initially, it's, they won't work for you. It's not because they can't and they don't want to. They don't trust you. They don't trust that if they make a mistake, you're still gonna be there the next day to, to teach them, or you'll be there. You're gonna help them. You're not gonna ridicule them because they can't you know, decode the word. You're not gonna think that they're gonna be nothing because they're not you know, getting the math problem. It's the trust that they know that no matter what they do and how many struggles they have in the classroom, you're gonna be there and you're gonna push them along and you're not gonna let them fail. You want them to see the outside, so taking them, like what we did this past year with you all's help big time, we took the kids, the fifth graders, to the Bucks game. We were on the bus, just the bus ride alone. We were on a charter bus, like, so there was like, oh my, Miss Morton, look at this, oh, look, it's cushy seat, I'm like, I know. It's cool, right, guys? I said, when you go to college, like, we traveled, and I would, like, relate it to college. When I was in college, we used these buses to travel. Like, this is what you can have. You just got to work hard. So then we get all the way into the stadium. Oh, my goodness. Like, it was, like, on the movies, like, where the kids were just like, whoa. And just smile, because it was like, this is so cool. You know, they're going to remember this for the rest of their lives. It was, it was just amazing. I can't even recapture their looks on their faces. It was just like an awe. And then we talked about, you know, we, all, we always bring it back. Hard work can give you these opportunities. Hard work, hard work. You gotta remember hard work. We got in the stadium, we were cheering. Oh, it, was just, it was just like a movie. It was, it was awesome. You feel empowered because it's like if you can teach 500 kids and if they can do, even if half of them can come back and help out, it's 250 kids coming back to their community and pushing forward.